Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here coming at you. Well, this is a uh, Ozark 250. I just picked this one up. This is a parts machine. I have one out back that's been under a top for the last two years because the rear end blew up. And this one is two. It's a very common thing on the Ozarks, but I think I might have enough parts to put one together, I'm hoping. The uh, motor ran on this, um, had a little valve tap, he said, but it, other than that, it was fine. And, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, it came with the plastics in the seat. Got the plastic thing here. And the seat, and the front plastic. Um, and the cover that goes over the, uh, the box, the toolbox part, which I don't remember if I have or not. So this is the Ozark 250, first look. Still on the trailer, fresh from Vermont. I picked this up in uh, Vermont today. I had a short video I was gonna post, but it's only two minutes long, it's kind of a waste of time. It basically just shows the, um, basically shows us the bike and the mountains. Hey, I'm making a video right now, why don't you go back please? So I'm gonna go out back and we're gonna uncover the other one, I'll show you. The other one's the uh, other Ozark 250. And I'm sure when you saw my motorcycle or dirt bike videos there on the KE 100s, you saw the uh, what you call it, axle sticking up in the background. <laughs> so, give you guys a quick little update on the Bombardier. Uh, hey, Andrew. Hi. Um, on my Bombardier, we ordered the um, front wheel hub <laughs> with the rotor and the brake caliper for the side. We're going to get rid of the brake system here. I'm not going to use that. We're going to convert this over to rear brakes where it should be. Because it's a nice machine and if you keep that on there, I'm getting a lot of feedback that that's a common problem with that. And most likely it's because of the way that is set up. So it's a crappy design. We're going to change that around and we're going to put some disc brakes back there somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. But I am going to find a way. Um, I'm thinking I might have a couple of ideas. Hmm? No, maybe, no. Well, anyway, this under the cover here, which you guys have been seeing this, this top, it's not a top secret mission. There's one of the wheels to it. But uh, I'm getting run over by a tire here. Okay, here we go here. It's been under cover for a very long time. Like I said, I, I traded this for a uh, snowblower back in the day. And, um, an Arian snowblower I had, like a, an oldie. Nothing I was using, so I'm like, yeah, paramedic. They don't want the, uh, they don't want this no more. So I'm like, well, you know what? I'll make the trade and I'll keep it for parts or I'll find a, uh, a rear end for it somewhere. So we're gonna uncover it. Full, full, full. It's like Christmas, huh, guys? There she is right there. I got the rear end completely ripped off this thing. Hallelujah. Suzuki Ozark 250. Okay. So this is her right here. And it's actually just as I remember her. Yeah, it needed a lot of stuff. It was, uh, what do you call it there? Brake stuff. The seat's all ripped up, but I have a nice seat for it now. See, I don't have that cover that goes on the toolbox there. I do now. This thing ran, I started up last year. Yep, that works. Yep, I winterized it so there's no fuel in it. I cleaned the carburetor on it. Yeah, there you go. It's a hell of a compression on this motor. So, that's her all together. I put new screws in it. Um, when I was working on it, I had a whole bunch of screws to finish that part off. Like I said, this is a 250. It's got reverse, um, but there was a lot of uh, a lot of parts. Just basically, the rear end is all the, all the thing needed, and a seat. And um, they repainted this. And it's got the I mean, it's got the front bar on. The only thing that's missing is the two headlights. Once you found them online for like 85 bucks, so. That's for the rear brake, which is disconnected right at the moment. Um, so now I have a whole parts machine. I got both sides of that. Yeah. So I got a lot of good parts. Got a lot of parts that need to be replaced. And um, well, now we got the stuff to do it with, which is awesome. Anything living in here? I wonder. 
normally you find a, mo a mice nest. Nope, and I'll show you why. Because when I winterized it, I put mothballs. Nice. No micey poop. Sat for two years. And after I moved that, I can see this crap that they got up in here, but they didn't go any further. And I duct tape, I lost to tape that off too, so they couldn't get in the intake. So, whenever you're going to store these things, make sure you cover up your intakes. Because they will do that. Typically that right there would all be in here. So, it's a little sweaty, but not bad. Nice guys, nice! I'm, just, I'm so happy right now. Now look at the frame of this thing. Look how nice this thing looks. This thing is in pretty good shape. These are the lights right here. The wiring for the lights. They left the pigtails on them. And they plug up in there. There's one on the other side. I mean, I got the pigtails for it. I just got them. All the mounts are there. There's nothing missing. You know, like they're all, all there. They just unscrewed them for whatever reason. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have ourselves a nice little buggy. Front tires are good too. That's good. That tire is shot, but I got tires that came off it that aren't in bad. I mean, they're not great, but they'll get through the season. <laughs> so it looks like this one is going to be our next project. Got that nice seat. I want to check out that seat. See how nice that seat is. Cause this one right here, I, I duct taped that. I threw that on there when I first got it. I used to sit on the seat and squish it out. So let's go see if that other seat, um, how the condition of that other seat. I think it was pretty good. Um, the guy put it in the back of the car, so I only kind of saw it on passing. But man, that would be nice if that seat was good. Hi, Hi, Andrew. How are you, buddy? You playing with your PJ masks? <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to take a walk, quick walk back out there and see what's on. What's the dealio with the other one there? Man, that is really good, 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 good stuff. Okay, so here's the this Ozark 250. Same thing. I got the cover that goes up in there. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, guys, look at this. That's the seat. That's a score. Against that cover. Right here, we'll go toss those back on there real quick. And then uh, we gotta take this thing down and take that rear end off. We're not doing that right now, but I'll do a video on it when I remove the rear end. That rear end is gone as well, but I only need one part of it, one major part of it. I have a good pinion gear, I need the ring gear. And if the ring gear is good, I'm styling because that rear end is. 500 bucks. I saw it online last night for 4.99. Hi, Hi, Andrew. <laughs> My goon. Yeah. So that'd be nice if I can get that ring gear. If that ring gear is good, I can uh, build that. Now, what happens is a lot of people with these Ozark 250s. See, it just seems like each four wheeler has its own certain problems. Now, for the Ozark 250. I'll tell you guys what happens with that. Oh, look at that, guys. That fits on there. a couple of screws that mount up in there. Look at that, huh? Once that's cleaned up, that's going to be perfect. Put the new seat on. See how it fits on there. Hold on. Oh, I think I got to um, do that clip there, but it's all right. Look at that, guys. Sorry about my finger on the way. It's gonna look sweet. Clean up these plastics. Those other plastics are in better, better condition. We'll change out those plastics. Look at that, huh? Oh, that's styling. Hi, Andrew. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing a video, okay? So let me do my video. So that's that for that. This thing ran beautiful when I parked it. So I winterized it, and um, so I'm. Um, guessing it's going to start right back up again the way it should and I tagged and bagged everything all the parts and pieces to the rear end 
cables are all good. The, the, you know, all the brake stuff is all good. So it looks like to me, if we can get that rear end apart um, in the next maybe video or two, um, we can get that thing torn apart, get the parts put into it, and uh, start riding this bad boy around. This is two-wheel drive, by the way. This is not a four-wheel drive. This is a, a two-wheel drive. It's a, uh, what do you call it there? An Ozark 4x2. Um, and it's a nice it's a nice machine. It's got a little bit of strength to it. Um, it's not a weak machine by any stretch of the means. It's a 250 with reverse. The uh, choke cable, I have to get a choke cable. That's what I needed for this thing. But I can get a choke cable for this thing. I don't know if it worked or not. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't remember if it worked or not. I mean, you can see, I mean, everything's here on the pedcock, turns, and everything's everything's in good shape. I dry, I dry sat it. Got a new pull rope in it. Um, so the other one's got a lot of uh, good parts on it. So I'm, I'm gonna scrap it out, but I'm gonna keep the whole engine. I'll keep all the parts and pieces, any senses I can do. I'll tag them and bag them, and I'll uh, put them away for a safekeeper for later on. I have in the house for this thing a new AGM battery I bought for it last year, which is a basically a dry cell battery. Um, so this is going to be a nice little four-wheeler. It's got the nice racks on the back and the front, and um, I'll be able to use this one with my uh, Route 4 650. So this one will be up and running with hopefully within a few days. So we'll be doing some videos on the Ozark 250. Um, I have to pick up my frame tomorrow at the um, the place for the KE 102 build. So we got to pick that up. It's exhaust. I mean, this thing's in good shape, guys. Good, good shape. I traded this for a snowblower. You know, and the only problem is with it was the rear end. And I got all the parts and pieces, just I don't have the ring gear. So, but I might have to finish this thing off sooner than later because this is a nice machine. And I got the shaft to it. The shaft is in this toolbox right here. I just pulled that out yesterday. Has the shaft to it right here, so and that all moves freely and just needs a little bit of grease. So we got the dry shaft that hooks up to the uh, on the back side of the engine drive right there. Just like this, and it hooks up to the rear end. So nothing bad about that. The other one's got a whole ignition system on it, an extra spare carburetor, Makuni. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm styling with this thing. This thing's in really good shape. It's just been sitting under here for two years underneath this top. It's crazy. Had it on my porch last year for the winter, you know, just like this on a milk crate. And it's time to get her off the milk crate. Definitely time. I might switch out the rear swing arm. Well, this one's got all the weld on it from the, uh, the previous stuff. And it's only a couple of bolts, so I might switch out that, that swing arm too. Like I said, the other one's just apart, so... Um, I'm not really not really too worried about anything that could possibly be wrong with it, you know what I mean? So, and we're going to go check one more thing on it. And, uh, so I told you guys I ordered the wheel hub assembly for the, um, what do you call it there? Hi, Dada! Hi, Andrew! Say hi, YouTube! Hi, YouTube! Thank you for all the subscriptions! Thank you for the subscriptions! 85 and strong! Thank you again. So we're going to convert this over to a uh, disc brake somehow. I'm not exactly sure why I'm going to do that. Um, the parts for the wheel brake hub is ordered. The caliper is ordered. Um, we're not. We're going to take this off. We're going to convert this over. I might even do a cable brake in the back. I don't know yet. So a lot of four wheel stuff going on right now. Seems to be that time. Working on my buddy's truck, putting a fuel pump in. Taking it out of the scrap truck. My old scrap truck. This has got the new truck. New Chevy. So. Yeah, see right there, that's the Ozark Ford Runner. Ford Runner, what's the door? So this is with the, oh, that's the choke on this one. <laughs> good. Yeah, it's good to know. All right, so we might have to uh, change over the choke style if we have to. This is a little uh, different year. This is an old three. The other one's the one out back is an O2, but it should be the same. Hey look guys, I got my lug nut I need for my uh what do you call it there? The one I just showed you. The bombardier. So 
Too bad the brakes were different, huh? Yeah, that sucks. That would have been cool. Would've been sweet, but it's all right. No big deal. Got the uh, battery, battery's junk. The starter. I got the cover to the starter. That's back here someplace. We got things hang out right here, but there's no guts to it. And that's pretty much it. It almost looks like they cut the frame off in the front here, doesn't it? Looks like it would have went up a little bit more. I don't think it would have been that far back. And then they cut the uh, they cut the house. They cut the plastic to where the light was. So there's a brake master cylinder right there. So it's got a lot of good parts. Yep, go get go get a lemonade. I'll get one. So, well guys, that's it for the uh, Ozark 250. Look at that, he did the same thing. He must have watched one of my videos. <laughs> Okay, I say I pulled from this one too. So, alright. Boom. Yep, another pet cock right there, which is always good to have spare stuff. Look at the carburetor. The carburetor on the external part is in good shape. So, we, can, we got some stuff here, guys. We got some stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, send them my way. And for the uh, 85 of you guys who have to subscribe, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And uh, we're growing this channel big and strong. So if you guys have any questions on your four wheels, by all means. This video right here is the first look at the Ozark 250. And the uh, show you my Ozark that it's been undercover for two years that you guys haven't seen. So this is kind of a two for one first look, guys. It's like a double whammy. And I'm not even in my jammies. Craziness. Well, thank you guys again. I appreciate it.